going to be reading from John chapter 13, verses 1 to 15. Love that gets hands dirty. In this passage, John is about to describe the Passover meal. But unlike the other Gospels, he describes an event before the meal, which really sums up Jesus' life. He came to serve. It was just before the Passover festival, Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and would go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal took off his outer clothing, wrapped a towel round his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around them. He called to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realise now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, You must also wash my hands and my head as well. Jesus answered, Those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet. Their whole body is clean, and you are clean, though not every one of you. For he knew he was going, who was going to betray him. And that was why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set an example that you should do as I have done for you. I'd now like you to just put yourself in the situation. Put yourself among the disciples having supper with Jesus. You're on the way there. It's Passover. The moonlight paints shadows along the narrow street and the doorways are shut and dark. You feel your way up the narrow staircase a rough, hall, a rough wall on one side. As you go inside, the door creaks and the little oil lamp glows, giving soft light to the room. You wash your hands in the bowl at the door. The water cools as you shake it from your fingers. And as you sit down, you hear noises from the city. There are voices in the street. A door slams. In the distance, a dog barks at the moon. Then there's the smell of food, fresh baked bread, roast lamb, herbs, wine. You feel a bit uncomfortable though. You hadn't really wanted to come to Jerusalem. It had been too dangerous, but Jesus had insisted. And there'd been an argument at the door about who would sit where and who was the most important. Jesus had intervened. He hadn't raised his voice. He'd left you all in no doubt about how he felt though. I'm here as a servant, he'd said. That was strange. It made you think. What does Jesus see as he looks around the room? They're all people he loves, faults and all. Peter, hot-headed. Thomas, a bit cautious. And Judas, and you. What does Jesus see in you? Then he moves. You hear water pouring. He takes a towel and a bowl and starts to wash the disciples' feet. John's, Andrew's, then you realise he's coming to you. He's going to wash your feet. Think about Jesus kneeling down in front of you, taking your foot. How does it make you feel? And as your eyes meet, what do you want to say to him? We need to remember from this passage that God loves you not because you're beautiful, you might be. God loves you not because you're 
Good, you might be. God loves you, full stop. And it also is showing us how we should live our lives, just as Jesus did, serving others. And a prayer I'd like to just finish with is actually the last verse from the chorus, The Servant King by Graham Kendrick. So let us pray. Let us learn how to serve and in our lives enthrone him, each other's needs to prefer, for it is Christ we're serving. Amen.